A single mother herself, Prince George's County School Secretary Veronica Scarborough knows how hard it is to make ends meet as a parent. That's why she keeps a shelf in her office filled with free snacks for needy students, no questions asked. A lot of them with the working parents or some of them are foster uh, students. A lot of them don't have the extra money to go to vending machines or to order uh, food or go leave the uh, premises and go get some food. They don't have that. And you're talking about athletes, you're talking about football players, soccer players. So to have this outreach here at Suitland High School is a blessing. My mother was a single parent. Mary Scarborough was a single parent of eight. And how she did it is amazing. She would feed everybody in the neighborhood. How? Well, because it was her heart. She would make a big pan of uh, biscuits, beans, chicken. I mean, the neighborhood kids knew that if they wanted something to eat, they could go to Mary Scarborough's house. I didn't realize until I moved up north that society considered us as being poor because we ate every day and good hot meals. My family and I, we struggle. Mm. A lot. Being a single parent with four beautiful kids, it was a struggle. I would like to think that somebody, if my babies needed, would reach out to them as I do. One of my friends said, hey, you know, I know we're hungry, because I always ask for food sometimes, because I get a little hungry. I said, you know, there's a lady in um, guidance that, you know, you can get some food from, you just gotta ask her. I said, really, when did this happen? <laughs> so I came into guidance, um, and Ms. Scarborough was sitting here, you know, playing her music. And she was like, hi, young lady, what you guys need, what you want, you want some food? I said, oh, sure, yeah, it's just that simple? She was like, yeah, go ahead, help yourself. And after that, she just feels like a mom to me. It makes me feel like I want to come to school every day for some reason. Come here to see Miss Garbo every morning. Every morning. I have to. I can't go a day without seeing Miss Garbo. <laughs> <laughs> some of them call me Ma. Some of them call me Grandma. And I call them as I call the other kids at school handsome and beautiful, a young lady, sir, a young man. And they give back the respect and they see that there's someone that actually cares. And I don't make them feel embarrassed or, or ashamed to come. No, I make sure it's a welcoming space where they can come and feel comfortable and know that they can get that. I think it's inspired me to give to people, give back to people, because that's what she does. She wants to help us. So it shows to me that I can do the same thing with other people, especially maybe homeless people, kids, Adults, doesn't matter. I want these babies, when they go off to college, military, or whatever the case, performing arts or wherever, but to remember to give back. Remember, somebody helped me. And it only takes a cup of soup.